This is the story of one of the most haunted buildings in the United States. This is the story of the Joshua Ward House. In 1692, George Corwin was the High Sheriff of Salem, Massachusetts during the infamous witch trials. Rumors have stated that he may have gotten his position through nepotism as he was related to two prominent city officials. His role was to cart the accused to the execution site located at Gallows Hill, and he was also responsible, as was required by law, to confiscate all possessions of the condemned prisoners, such as crops, livestock, and smaller household goods. Misconceptions do exist, stating that the people of Salem would falsely accuse people of being witches purely because of a desire to gain the land of someone else in the community, but law at the time prohibited seizure of the land itself, only the possessions. They were supposed to be stored to help the felons, but it's well known at this point that in the case of a man named John Proctor, Corwin sold some of his livestock and then slaughtered and salted the rest to be shipped off to the West Indies. One of the most well-known executions Corwin oversaw was that of Giles Corey, popularized in the play The Crucible. Corey, 73 at the time of his execution, had stones laid on top of his body until he died. While rumors state that his last breaths cursed the town of Salem, Corwin himself, or both, no proof that he said this has ever been recorded. Another popular legend is of a man named Philip English, the wealthiest merchant in Salem, who escaped to New York City to escape accusations of witchcraft alongside his wife, but upon returning, realized that Corwin had seized his possessions. English sued Corwin into the ground, literally, as he basically tied him up in legal battles until his death in April of 1696, and the legend states that English threatened to steal his corpse, which has never been verified. Legends also state that his body was buried in his basement so that his corpse would never be found, but that isn't the case either, as his grave is located at the Broad Street Cemetery. The rumors permeating that George Corwin also tortured his prisoners are also unsubstantiated. All this to say, George Corwin's house no longer exists, except for the stone foundation on which the Joshua Ward house now rests, rumored to be one of the most haunted locations in the United States. And while not every legend coming from the house is memorable, there is one that stands out. Now before I show you the following image, I'd like to point out that I wasn't able to verify the legitimacy of this story, so if any details are wrong, then I apologize. Allegedly, a realtor was visiting the Joshua Ward house and snapped a photograph of a room, which when developed, showed this image of what appears to be a ghostly figure. Now, like I said, I couldn't find any more information on this particular legend, and try as I might, I do have to say that this is a plausible paranormal photograph. If anyone has any further proof as to what this is, please let me know in the comments, as the sources I searched from weren't exactly reliable. Regardless of fact or fiction, the truth behind who used to live in this place is out there for all to discover, and at the time of me recording this video, the Joshua Ward House is currently a hotel called The Merchant, and is still considered one of the most haunted buildings in the country. Regardless of the beliefs in witches or ghosts, there's no denying the history behind Corwin as a person is certainly interesting, albeit creepy and gruesome. If you want to take a visit there yourself, to deem the spirit fact or fiction, then be my guest.